welcome back everyone. I could not locate the source of that sound. I will go back and do further investigating though. Uh, so today we are going to be looking at uh, Witchery, one of my favorite mods, but also one that I've never had a chance to get all the way in. Always um, end up on the server that, you know, terminates or ends or gets corrupted chunks or something like that. So I thought today we'd go through a bit of that. Um, my little start at Witch Hut here looks like absolute garbage at the moment. Uh, as you know, it burnt down. I have been building the new witch hut, which we'll look at in a minute. Uh, but until then, everything's just everywhere, and I absolutely hate it. My inventory even is all over the place. I've got some bags to try and help me sort it out a little bit, but overall, it's not working too well. Uh, I did manage to empty this one out. Almost. More stuff in there. And it's the latest junk chest. I'm really doing a big push to try and get the house finished so that I can move into it. There we go. Now, the funny thing about uh, what I'm showing you today is I've already done it. I did it um, when I was recording last night and then I finished it, all went well, and I went back to check it and my voice recording was not on. So I'm doing it again and I thought I'd do it from the start so I could show you all. Uh, we need to start witchcraft with a cauldron. So we fill this cauldron up. Oh, full. And we need to make some special ointment. Let me have a look. Uh, so I've been doing some work on the house as well. So it's coming along nicely. I've removed some of the scaffolding. Um, I've been needing lots of saplings to do the roof. I'll be using um, witchery bundles. I managed to get some Spanish moss. I'm going to be going over how to get that in a minute. Um, my ovens over here. I've had processing different types of saplings to get the fumes, which I'll have a look at in a moment. Some clay jars and that one ready to go. And some wood ash, which is another byproduct to use a lot. Here's my little potion shelf. Uh, I think I need plenty of hand for this. There we go. We've got some exhale of the horn one, breath of the goddess, thou fumes, which are the most common, um, hint of rebirth, and some empty clay jars. I think they look great in my little potion shelves there. I'm really glad that one works. I made two uh, witchcraft books. So I call it witchcraft and witchery. Um, what is called witchery? I was like myself confused. Uh, collecting fumes and distilling. I'll have a quick look at. And the latest book that I made was Witch's Brews. So you can start witchcraft with um, the fumes. Uh, it's the starting point. You just make the coke oven. Coke oven. Make the oven out of some iron and some iron fences. And you put in, for example, oak to get exile of the horn one, birch to get breath of the goddess, and so on. Actually, the end of the pages starts here. Close on information. Mm -hmm. uh, distilling. I am not quite up to yet. That's making the distillery. But I think that needs the altar, which I'm getting close to doing. Uh, but I was able to start doing some brews because I needed mutandus. If we go back to the start, you can see the book's very well set up. Clickable index, chalk for circle magic, brewing, boiled meats, try that one out. Traps, fire compass, all very good things. So we go back to the start and it says Introduction Fill a cauldron to the brim with water, light a fire beneath it. Okay, just done that. When the water boils, throw in your ingredients for either brewing, ritual, or crafting. So, when it says cauldron, it would be a witch's cauldron. And we need to make anointing paste. That was close. We need um, one of each of the primary seeds from witchcraft. So let's go and get some of them. Check my storage here. This one was nice enough to give me a hellhound head, which I believe um, I'm from the nether. Thank you. Up. There. For now. Cool. So let's see, I need um, to find my earmuffs. Where did I put them? I've got some seeds here. Spain, we've got mandrake, belladonna. I don't have any water artichoke seeds or icy. Not icy, they're um, from the snowbell plants. Do, do, do. What about this one? Some seeds. Let's take these out. The Belladonna. I'm running out of storage space again. Happens every time. Let's put some things in here. I don't need these at the moment. I will need them in a minute. So I need to remember that I put them in here. Whoops. Keep that. Put 
these seeds and plants in here. So even the storage is all over the place. And that one, that's what a good tree plants. Pick you, you, and you. Do a quick sort. Alright, and I have been strip mining just before in the as you saw, and I've managed to get um, 13 diamonds, which I think is just enough to make a BC quarry. Um, so we're we'll doing that next. My farm here, let's get the snow goes. So we're ready to harvest. Also get snowballs from it, which is fun. Get all the seeds. Always replant first. I don't have any mandrakes growing at the moment because, well, A, they're annoying. And B, I've got more than enough mandrake root and seeds to be going on with for now. We can keep some of the seeds. I only really need to make it once. There we go. But I, do, I did need the water artichoke as well, so let's take these. This farm is strictly temporary. I'll be upgrading this very soon. I saw the seeds. Where are they? We get three. So we'll replant two. This is another one hiding here somewhere. Nope. Let's, as you can see, I've been tramping all over my own garden. Ah, oh, the water. Do it. All right. So we go back to our cauldron. Put up a crafting grid. One of these. One of these, and I've left the other two behind, haven't I? All over the place. This is why I need it centralized. Um, move those two as well. Into here. I've put the snowballs in. Don't know if I actually need them for anything or if it's just a byproduct. Um, we needed Belladonna and. Am I missing one of these and one of these? Let me go check. Mandrake seeds. Okay, I think that's it now. Let's try. Mandrake and Belladonna. Very good. Anointing paste. So, we can go over to the cauldron and we right click it. Beautiful. Let's put the uh, put it back in my hand there. Now, the reason we've made this, at least the first reason, is we want to make Rutundus. Rutundus is essential for witchcraft as it allows you to get the witchcraft trees to three buckets. So we now need to go back to bruise and up and let me see. Is it here? Nope. Brewing crafting. Actual circles. Rutundus, that's the one we're looking for. So it takes um, one mandrake root one egg cell of the horn one and one egg into a cauldron and it makes six mutandas and you see that it requires no altar power which is good because i haven't made the altar yet now i've got a tiny little chicken farm over here this is hideous but there's um two chickens in there that are sitting there pumping out the eggs it's doing a pretty good job because this is within the spawn chunk so it stays loaded um and we want some mandrake fruit and egg cell of the horned one Get up there. Whoops. Okay. Ah. Oh, all over the place. I'm just going to grab two, three, four. And I think I can go right click on the one that I want. No. i take all of these. Excellent. I believe at the moment you can only do one at a time. I can't throw all four eggs in, for example. So I'm going to go egg. Missed. Get up. Get up. Okay, maybe I should do it in order that's said in the book. Mandrake, horned egg. Throw it in. Okay. Ah. Oh, we got it. And one more. Nice little sound. Get the animation going. In the uh, previous recording, I was trying to right-click it, and sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. 
Turns out you just have to wait. And it makes it keep it bobbing away. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Any minute now. This one's back in. Come on. Maybe I do have to click it. Hmm. Let's try. Right click. Mm -hmm. yep, should be working. I don't know if this is. Ah, there we go. I'm not sure that's related to the server lag at the moment. So, if we find a vanilla sapling or a bit of grass or anything, we can now right click it in Mutundus and it will change. It's a lot of older vanilla things, but also, if you're lucky. Ran out of it then. They're very persistent. So we need to make more. Oops. Two. And three. Okay, and we're gonna go throw, throw, throw. Can I pick them up or not? No, not my day. Try it a bit closer. There we go. All right, now while that's doing that one, let's have a look. If we go back one, Mutandus extremus. Used on plants to mutate them. Grass creates mycelium. Underwater dirt creates clay. Hmm, that's handy. And I believe you also use this for something else. But ah, as you can see, this one requires an altar. So let's have a look. A-L-T-E-R. That's the one. What a stone altar. I think it is. A L T E R. And there's two, and they're spelt slightly differently. A L T A R. There we go. Let's have a look. That's the one. It requires some stone bricks, some rowan wood, water bottle, except for the horn one. So all of these are pretty simple, except for the rowan wood which you need to use Matanjas to get. Now, if this doesn't work, I'm just going to show you something that I prepared earlier. Spruce. Ah, ember moss. That's one I haven't got yet. I'm going to collect that with my shears. I put my shears away somewhere, didn't I? Can I remember where? Yes, I can. Okay, excellent. That's another witchcraft item. If you stand on it, Set you on fire. So it also slowly spreads over time. So I now need
power in it. And then spawned in the place where it was to be found. Oh, that's good. book. It's needed to make the bark belt. Uh, I believe that one um, bark piece. location hit. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, which is cauldron, the the, the wart and mutandus extremis to make a mutating spree, which does the same thing as mutandus and mutandus extremis, but uh, is reusable. Okay, so I'll probably use it to make the symbology book a bit later. Need it for that much else. Nope. Okay. Excellent. Uh, I'm just going to quickly replan all the settings and then we'll come back. You know, it's funny. I've uh, been getting some things together to do in the next part and I realized I do most of my smelting up here on my table. Uh, but that's how disorganized I am at the moment. Okay. I needed the stone to make stone bricks. This is uh, for the altar. Do it down here. And here. I've got it all set up already. Uh, just need two here. Two here. And we will get six altar bricks. Nope, one more bit of water. That's right. Six altar stones. So, now what? I will be a good boy and take them back out again. Whoops. Okay, don't try and climb over chests. There we go. Go inside, and I was thinking I would like to have this up here. As you can see, there's the original one that I made for the first video. Use a different type of stone around it, and ran out to use cobble. Whoops! Down again. Hmm. Thinking. A bit of stairs here. Might like to put it here. Enough room to get around it still. Um, have a look. Two, three. Let's try this. I can always move it. And as with all multi box structures, you complete it. Very nice. Okay, so it's currently 0 of 737 uh, with only one multiplier, which is technically no multiplier. And you can see it's slowly gathering some energy there. It gathers energy from nature around it. So the more things we can put in here of a nature variety, being wood, uh, saplings, trees, anything like that, it'll get more. That is the way we can also boost it. So we have the 50. And that spell for Mutundus, I believe, took about, well, it was over a thousand. So this altar would not be powerful enough to do it. And this would affect things like the cauldron down there. Uh, circle magic, which I have not gotten up to yet, and um, casting spells. And I don't think it has any effect on the ovens. Cooking up some oak saplings here, replenish our stocks. And this one needs more fuel. Lovely. And this one is finished. 
got two new ones. We've got Odor of Purity, which came from the Hawthorne saplings. And... Stop refilling my hand. Reek of Misfortune, which came from the... Uh, was it the, wasn't the Rowan? It must have been the older saplings. So I'm just going to keep them collecting in here. Put that in there. That in there looks good. Very nice. Um, now that we have the altar, I'm wondering if there's another book specific for altar magic. Let's do this again. Mod, which we uh, shift left click. There we go. Close it up. Uh, let's see. So there's the uh, hellhound head. And also get a wolf's head. Do, 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 do. There's the distillery. I should make one of these a fume funnel. Ooh, that's changed. Looks like any type of glowstone. Two blocks of iron. I might have enough iron to do that. What you do is you place these on top of the ovens here and it increases the chance of getting the fume. See that one cooked and we didn't get a fume from it. Take that out. We will need the wood ash later. It's the same one still. Going along nicely. We'll just leave those alone. Uh, that away. That away. They can go in case we need them for later. Excellent. Alright. I think that's enough for tree for now. We are going to move on to gathering some resources. Oh, I should show you, in fact. I made a list to try and keep myself a little bit better organised. Uh, dig for clay for jars. Cook saplings. Dig for diamonds. Check. Make quarry. And that's the next step. And then we're going to do storage. Power. And then use the quarry quite a literal step by step. Uh, there's no point in making a quarry, running off, running off, putting it down, and then go, oh, I can't power it, or oh, I can't store anything that we get from it, so do that. Uh, from the resources from the quarry, the next step would be to upgrade my storage situation here. Uh, finish off the hut, we're going to be moving the hut, into moving into the hut, and then uh, we'll be moving the hut, and then it's the other things that we're going to be looking into too. Alright, back in a minute. Alright, up to the last part of crafting for the quarry. Just need a little bit more iron, which uh, Vino was kind enough to lend to me. And we need to make iron gears, three of them. One, two, three. And I've done something wrong. Hmm, have a look. Uh, quarry, there we go. Diamond key is on the bottom. Ah. Right. There we go. Lovely. A quarry. Now, unfortunately, the only power that I have at the moment is this sterling generator. Just choking along. Powering my pulverizer. She's running nice and slow. So, I might have to invest in some better but of course investment requires capital and I have none of that um, make a quarry tick make storage so I'll probably make a whole bunch of barrels and that will also need to include uh, item ducts not item ducts but I don't have them anymore item transfer nodes to put everything in um, and then make some power I'll, I'll either make a bunch of these sterling generators and run them all together, or I might look at the, how much the solar ones are to run. So I'll get onto that and I'll be back soon. Alright, quite a bit of crafting later, and here is my quarry all set up, ready to go. Um, attached to it, we have a couple of diamond pipes ready for me to set up for sorting. Uh, attached to void pipes, so we can get rid of all the like 18 different types of cobble. Oh, by the way, Yatesy's currently online. Hello, Yatesy. Good evening, people. Um, and I have got my power set up. I've got all these sterling generators, which I believe are from Endo.io. They're all full of charcoal and full of power, ready to go. Um, I've gone for slightly larger than the standard uh, quarry size. This one's about nine chunks. It said, well, it said it's going to keep nine chunks loaded. Um, let me see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up basic universal cable, which is the power, to the quarry. Should start digging. 
all the stuff will first go into the chest here because I haven't got any filters set up. Uh, it's then going to start sorting out into the barrels here, and then I will extract, I will extract each type of um, one we don't want and put it into the filters. I should be able to reach them up there. I should make sure that everything ready to go. What I should do actually is make a lever because if I'm not mistaken, you can turn a quarry off with a lever. Is that correct, Casey? Oh uh, yeah, I should be able to just rep apply a redstone signal and off she goes. That sounds like a smart thing to do then. Mm -hmm. right. Or, you know, if that don't work, just bash the cable. Yep, that'll do it too. <laughs> That's about the only other thing I could think of. Now, ideally, the best way to do this, um, and I'm not quite set up to do it, is you can make a gate from uh, Buildcraft Silicon, I think it's called, and you can tell it that if uh, for example, this chest on the end here, which is my overflow chest, is full to send a redstone signal along a line. Well, actually, no. Can you? You can send a, a signal via a pipe, and then at the end here have another gate saying, if it receives a signal, apply a redstone signal. Uh, we'll get into that later once I've got the resources to make them. It needs obsidian and lots of diamonds. All right, so let's get this party going. All right. Wow, they've added new animation effects. That's cool. All the little red dots flying out. That's I don't know, but Minecraft's on a roll. Oh, yeah. Mighty Enderman was slain by Minecraft. We've been getting weird messages all day. Different things being killed by Minecraft. Uh, I think even uh, Vino was killed by Minecraft. <laughs> Look at this fly. <laughs> that would have been cracker funny. It was, it was fun. I'm like, GG man, GG. And uh, he hasn't got his microphone uh, set up yet, so he couldn't really explain himself. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this notch going. just comes in, just starts coming with him. Power hammer of doom. And, uh, so, because I've got about 10 sterling engines, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Uh, it's running pretty quick, I must say. Yeah, well, it'll tell you what what each produces. Um, it's like 20 RF, I think it is. Oh dear, I do have this set up wrong though, because everything's going straight into all the void pipes. Because I didn't tell it Okay, so you, yeah. Let the chest fill up first. Whoops, now I've broken it. Okay, break the power cable. Alright, turn it off. It's gotta run out of its own charge. Okay, so let's remove all the void pipes. I did forget that about diamond pipes. It's just gonna, if you don't tell it anything, it's just gonna distribute everything yeah. equally. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's, not, it's not smart, it's dumb. Uh, I cut the power, but it's still just going. Yeah, it'll have residual. Everything, um, it's got like a buffer or whatever in a pool. I put it back on. I'm not sure if it's done signal did anything. Try a torch. Because hmm. I know the pipe works. Let's let it go for now. Okay, so dirt has gone into the first barrel here. And it will continue to go in at a pretty good speed thanks to the transfer node. And dirt is handy, so I will keep the dirt for now. But uh, we don't really need more than a barrel full. So if I get one of these pipes and a piece of dirt, we have that handy, yes. How's that looking? I've still got a fair way to go. Get some seeds there. So at the moment it's got green. If I add this on, it adds white. So now if I click on this one, and I go white and green, half the dirt should go to there, and the rest should go to there. The seeds are popping out. That would be because it hasn't been told to go anywhere. Let's see what happens when it gets down a bit lower. It has been a long time since I've used a BC quarry, so Spitting seeds out everywhere. 
Is that because it, it, it's asking for a place to go? I've only told yes. it to use dirt. Okay. Yes. So if I now put the void pipe, and here we want to send. I don't really need any of these seeds: cotton, barley, grape seeds, cucumber seeds. They will all now go into there. And what I also need is a place to dump them as well. That'll do for now. Excellent. Excellent. Mm. Wow. Nice. Let's see. Normal seed can go in. And this white one will fill up soon, so I have to put another one on. Put one on this end, then I'll have another color to use. Might do that next time something pops out. Oh, I need to sneeze so hard, can I hold back? There's always the mute button. I know, I'm trying to. Right. Yeah, it's okay. This isn't very uh, interesting, so I'm going to pause the uh, recording here, and we'll come back once it's dug down a bit.